Here we are with another f0.95 lens review, this time from 7 Artisans. I know this lens came out a while back, but I want to review as many lenses as I can on this channel. So when 7 Artisans asked me if I want to review this lens, I said of course. Hello everyone, my name is Andre Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and video maker and today I'm going to review the 7 Artisans 25mm f0.95 lens on my Fujifilm X-T5. Build quality, like most 7 Artisans manual lenses, it is pretty well built. The body is metal and has a metal mount, but no electronic contacts because this is a fully manual lens, so you won't get any EXIF data. Get a notebook and start writing your settings after every photo. The body has a black matte finish with red and white engraved markings and the metal mount has a grey metal finish. Nice finish but the lens is a bit long in my opinion and does not balance very well on cameras because it is pretty front heavy. Speaking about front heavy, this lens weighs 589 grams, has a minimum focus distance of 25 centimeters, but more on this later. It has 13 aperture blades, the optical design is 11 elements in 9 groups and it has a 52 mm filter thread. The focus ring is metal, turns smoothly and it is well damped. The aperture ring is declicked, well damped and turns smoothly. I wish the focus ring had a longer focus throw to make focusing easier because this is a f0.95 lens and focusing can get hard at that aperture, but don't worry it is still good enough after you get used to it. After using this lens for a couple of weeks I remembered how fun it is to use manual lenses and the gratification you get when you get an in focus photo at an aperture like f0.95. If you get this lens for the Fujifilm X mount, don't forget to activate the shoot without lens option in the setup menu, button and dial settings, otherwise the lens won't work. Also if you have a Fujifilm body with IBIS, don't forget to select the length of the lens in the image quality settings, mount adapter settings, these should get you started. Image quality, this lens at f0.95 is a bit soft in the middle and soft in the corners, but as you can see in this photo here, there are plenty of details in the center. Stopping this lens down to f2 improves the center and the corners, but the corners are still soft in my opinion. Stopping down to f2.8 and the center is very sharp and the corners are a bit soft. You need to stop the lens all the way to f5.6 to see decent sharpness in the corners. At f0.95 this lens is a bit soft but there is not a big difference between it and other options. Also this lens is wider and can be a good option for video. As you can see it can nicely separate subjects from the background. When it comes to flare, yes you can see flares if you shoot directly into a powerful source of light, but the flares look pleasing in my opinion. The image quality at minimum focus distance is soft at f0.95 and gets sharp at f2.8. This lens has a very good minimum focus distance in my opinion at 25cm. The focus breathing on this lens is pretty well controlled. You can see a bit of focus breathing, but I've seen a lot worse. The lens also suffers from chromatic aberrations from f0.95, including longitudinal chromatic aberrations. You need to stop down to f4 to get rid of them. Vignetting is also visible at f0.95, again you need to stop down for a better result. The saving grace of this lens is the fact that it has very nice color rendition, looks like a vintage lens I would use for a video. f0.95 is nice to have on a wide lens like this, but don't expect miracles from it. Overall this is a decent option from 7 Artisans, decent image quality from f0.95, nice color rendition but visible chromatic aberrations and vignetting, stopping the lens down makes it better and can be used in different situations. So if you are looking for a wide lens with a dreamy look and bright aperture that is very well built, I can recommend this lens if you keep in mind all of the above. 
If this video was helpful, subscribe, like and if you want to support the channel even more, use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.